With the seventh pick in the 2009 NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select Steph, Steph, Steph. At point guard, 6'7", number 30, Which means Luka will be stepping into Steph's shoes, becoming the franchise cornerstone of the Golden State Warriors. While trying to pursue basketball greatness as he aims to become the greatest shooter and player of all time. But of course, all careers start off rough and there'd be no exception for Luka with him missing the playoffs and losing rookie of the year. Which is also the same fate that Steph had to meet in real life. However, on the bright side, his sophomore season would be much more eventful with him winning an award many wouldn't expect him to win right now there is actually no way luca nearly averaged a triple double to an mvp in his sophomore season and of course with luca winning mvp that means he's won it four years before steph did as well as making the playoffs which steph wasn't able to accomplish in his second season however this playoff journey won't be a breeze because his first playoff series is against the okc thunder led by kevin durant russell westbrook and james harden if luca's able to persevere through the these grueling playoffs, it may be fair to assume that he's better at carrying his team than Steph. And things would seem to be off to a pretty good start as the Warriors are winning their first game. But with the next two games being taken by OKC, it strikes the question, is Luka really made for the moment? Which he would quickly answer by winning game 4. And with OKC unfortunately winning game 5, Golden State's headed to the most important game 6 Luka could possibly play. And while Luka definitely got carried by Monte Ellis in that game six, it gives him the opportunity to win game seven and advance to the second round. But when you're going up against three future Hall of Famers in your playoff debut game seven, things are bound to go wrong. However, Luka would help keep this game within reach, which would be shown by their two point deficit just a minute away from moving on to the second round. A minute left in the game, Russ dishes it to Harden for three. James! Harden! No! That might have been the dagger. Jeremy Lin with the ball. This is before he turns into insanity. Jeremy Lin down to Luka in the paint. Luka with the hook and he misses KD on the glass. Harden attacking Jeremy Lin. Oh, David Lee with the steal to Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin all the way. Dishes it to Courtney. I don't know who that is, but with the dunk three point deficit. Oh, oh, Vladimir Rodmanovich with the steal. 13 seconds. Jeremy Lin in the corner. To Corny. No, who are you? Why are you shooting that? Oh my god, that's so bad. And after a terrible shot from that fake player, KD's fouled and has a chance to put this game away for good. KD, first free throws in. And KD with the second free throw. He makes it as well. And yeah, the Warriors might be cooked. But if there's one mistake you never want to make, it's doubting the greatness and clutchness of Luka Doncic. Here we go. This is the most important possession of Luka's career thus far. Luka in the corner. What a shot. They need to quickly foul. All right, here we go. Four seconds. Two point deficit. They need to foul and a good foul by Luka. And with that foul, Russell Westbrook's headed to the line for two free throws. If he misses one, the Warriors have a chance at winning. Russell Westbrook first free throws in. Oh my god. Which means that this specific free throw by Russell Westbrook will decide the fate of Luka's first playoff experience. And Russ second free throw. Yeah, it might not. Nah, it, it's it's literally Jover. It's genuinely over. Luka half court and he misses and that concludes luca's sophomore season and while it's tragic to see luca's playoff experience end in such fashion he still managed to win mvp and make playoffs for the first time way earlier than steph did and on top of that months later during the 2011 nba draft he'll be receiving one of the greatest teammates he'll ever play with clay thompson from washington state university with Clay joining the Warriors, him and Luka are arguably the greatest pair of guards to play together. And we already saw what Luka was able to achieve with Monte Ellis as his sidekick, so imagine what he can do now with Clay Thompson. It's a dream come true. I haven't smiled this much in a long, long time, that's for sure. 
And little does he know, he'll be smiling for several years to come because with the addition of Luka Doncic and a future teammate that'll join them a year from now, they're bound to become one of the greatest teams in NBA history and who knows, even a potential dynasty. But before getting into the playoffs, Luka's winning his second MVP in just his third season. And on top of that award, Luka and Clay would be making the playoffs for the first time as teammates as the third seed, where they're going up against the Memphis Grizzlies a team very well known for their grit and grind mentality. And while on paper you may consider Mike Conley, Zach Randolph, and Marcus Saul to be the better trio, the Warriors shouldn't be counted out because when you have a two-time MVP on your team and a future all-star, you can't go wrong. But unfortunately, some awful signs would begin to show as the Grizzlies are stealing the first two games in Oakland. We saw Luka previously struggle against OKC, so it would make sense if he ends up struggling against Again. But that wouldn't be the case, as he and Clay would come together as the Splash Brothers to win games 3 and 4. With the series tied at 2 apiece, the Grizzlies may be one of the toughest teams Luka and Clay will face. Which is why this game 5 has come down to the wire. Will Luka be able to clutch up? Or will he shy away? Alright, Luca's at the line for two. His first one's good. And his second one is good as well. So they have a five-point lead with 49 seconds left on the clock. Mayo attacking with the pull-up midi, and he drains it. Luca attacking all the way. Big body, come on, put him in the rim. Hey, look at that draw foul. And with that foul, Lucas headed to the line with a chance to put this game away for good. All right, Luca first free throws in. And Luca second free throws in as well. Five point lead with 25 seconds left on the clock. The Warriors are just one stop away from closing out this game and winning game five. Zach attacking Darrell. Darrell, good D, good D. Force him out, force him out, force him out. Come on. No way he got dunked on by Marcus Gasol. And now they're fouling Klay Thompson, a rookie that hasn't shot free throws yet when the lights are at their brightest. Rookie Klay, as if the lights aren't bright enough, then he misses the first one. And the second one is off as well. I mean, it's his rookie season, his playoff debut, so I don't blame him for the lights being too bright. But Rudy with the ball back to Mike Conley, guarded by Luka! Oh, I thought Luca blocked that, but instead uh, he made a contested three. And with that insane shot by Mike Conley, this game is tied at 106 apiece with two seconds left on the clock. Will the Warriors clutch up or are they headed to overtime? All right, 2.3 seconds. Game on the line. Clay Thompson, his rookie moment. Oh, wow, that was close. While they are headed to overtime, it's important to note that they have a two-time MVP as their leader, so nothing should really go wrong. Luca guarding Mike Conley. Mike Conley lobs it to Zach Randolph, who throws it down, and the Warriors need a timeout. Meaning that this possession specifically may decide the fate of their season. Richard Jefferson to Luca. Luca game on the line, guarded by someone much smaller than him, kicks it to Clay. Clay with a big shot as a rookie. But just because he hit a crucial shot doesn't mean they've won just yet. There's still 44 seconds on the clock. They need to lock up. Marcus Saul gives it to Rudy. Rudy back to Mark, to Mike Conley. Mike Conley blocked by Luca, and he just lands in Zach Randolph's hands. What? Which means with this game coming down to the wire, the Warriors are gonna need a big shot. Clay with the ball. Clay behind the back. Between the legs, what is he doing? I don't know. Clay pull up three. Clay Thompson, let's go. Come on, man. They just leave Rudy wide open. Thankfully, he misses. They give the ball to Clay, and he's shooting some very important free throws. Clay first free throws in, and Clay second free throws in as well. I mean, he's shown up in such a big manner, even after missing those two free throws. Luca. Can you, like, get a little closer to him, bro? Don't leave him open. He like, what are you doing? Why would you leave him open? And now Luca's headed to the line. All right, here we go. These could potentially win the game. He knocks down the first. And he knocks down the second. So they have a four-point lead with 11 seconds. I don't think they have a timeout. Luca on Mike Conley. Marcus saw back to Mike. Good defense. Good defense. No way. Come on, come on, come on. Clay. And the clock runs out, the Warriors win game 5.
And off that extremely pivotal game 5, the Warriors are now just one game away from advancing to the semifinals for the first time. But unfortunately, despite Luka putting up an absurd stat line, game 6 Clay isn't a thing just yet. Because he's finishing game 6 with a whopping 7 points in 33 minutes. So with that, Luka's headed back to his second game 7 of his career. When he was in this situation just a season ago, his team unfortunately let him down. But this this time around, he has his splash brother to help him out. And while Clay went from a scorching game 5 performance to completely silent game 6, he and Luka would seal the deal in this game 7. The Warriors move on to the second round for the first time in Luka's career. While making it to the second round is a huge accomplishment, Luka and Clay may not be able to handle Lob City just yet. With veteran Chris Paul leading the ship, along with Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan, this road to 4 ring will definitely take a toll on Luka. And just to remind you, Steph didn't even make the playoffs until 2013, let alone winning two MVPs. So based off these circumstances, you'd think that Luka's capable of taking down Lob City with the Splash Brother by his side, which would turn out to be the correct prediction, with the Warriors leading the series 3-2. But don't count the Clippers out just yet, because they're taking this crucial game 6 on the road down to the wire. Luka attacking, please go up, please, please. How do you miss? You have seven inches on him. CP3 inside to Blake, guarded by, I think that's Jarrell Wright, who misses Luka on the glass. Luka, step back, gives it, and he turns it over. I don't know how that happened. Mo Williams, open for three, and he drains it. Now we're down by seven. Nate Robinson for three. Okay, Nate, I see you. Mo, Luka with the steal. Luca, Luca, do something, please. Luca, 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 Luca. Clay, wide open. Clay misses. Bogut. Bogut gets out rebounded by CB3. I think I've seen it all. And now CB3's headed to the line with a chance to put this game away for good. Chris Paul, first free throw is in. And CB3, second free throw is in as well. Luca, game on the line. You don't have that much time, so I'd get a shot off pretty quickly if I were you. Luca down to Bogut, quick two. Okay, I mean, he gets fouled, but I don't think I trust Bogut at the line. Andrew Bogut, first free throw is off. Yeah, he's a pretty shaky shooter. And Andrew Bogut, second free throw is in, thankfully. So it's a five-point deficit. At this point, it's just going to be a foul game. Nick Young, first free throw is in. And Nick Young, second free throw is in as well. I, 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 don't, I don't know how this is going to work. I mean, they're just going to shoot free throws for the entire 17 seconds. Luka to RJ. No, why would you shoot that? Who said that was a smart shot selection? Like, what? And unfortunately, that shot marks the end of the Warriors season. Luke and Clay gave it their all, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. But on the bright side, months later during the 2012 NBA draft, they're about to add the final piece of this big three. Draymond Green from Michigan State University. With the addition of Draymond, this marks the start of a brand new dynasty in Golden State, assuming Luka can live up to Steph's success. However, it seems Luka's MVP streak has come to its end. Well, looks like D. Rose just snapped Luka's MVP streak. Although Luka couldn't win his third MVP, winning a championship at this point means so much more. But their first round opponent is all too familiar to Luka. And regarding the playoffs, they're up against Lop City once again. They're getting their rematch from last year. And they definitely got their lick back on the Clippers as they're taking a commanding 3-1 lead. But unfortunately, the Clippers aren't giving up that easily because they're winning games 5, 6, and and bringing this game seven down to the wire in their house. All right, game seven being played in Los Angeles. The Warriors definitely know what it's like to lose on the Clippers home court from last season, obviously. So hopefully, what a steal from that random player that wasn't really on the team in real life. Luka down to Ekpe Udo with the dunk. Okay. CP3 down to Blake. Guarded by that random guy that got a steal on him. And Blake hits the post fade over him. Bogut gives it to Clay, And Clay's getting fouled. Free throws with the game on the line. Clay's first free throw is good. And Clay's second is good as well. So they have a five point lead with 25 left on the clock. Chris Paul guarded by Luka. Now switch on to Clay. Blake nearly has an open shot, gets contested by both Clay and that random NPC. Chandler Parsons. 
What a shot. David Lee to Clay, and Clay's headed to the line yet again. Clay first free throw is good, and Clay's second free throw is good as well. So now they have a four point lead with 14 seconds. I believe Los Angeles does not have a timeout yet. Chris Paul to Bledsoe to Parsons in the corner. And Chandler Parsons with yet another three. Clay's first free throw is good. And Clay's second free throw is good as well. I mean, ever since his rookie season, he's improved. So that's good. CP3, six seconds left on the clock. Guarded by Luka. Parsons, yet another three. He misses. Bogut finding for the rebound. And it's over. The Warriors win this grueling game seven to advance to the second round. But unfortunately, the team standing in between Luka's first conference finals appearance is the San Antonio Spurs, led by the veteran Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, and a young Kawhi Leonard. While Lucas had his fair share of battles against some of the best teams in the West, the Spurs take the crown as the toughest team that Luka's facing. However, despite all odds being in San Antonio's favor, Lucas leading his team to a commanding 3-0 lead over the best team in the West. Lucas putting up numbers we may have never seen before from a superstar but at the end of the day one superstar carrying the whole load is a recipe for disaster as the spurs are coming back to win not one not two but three games forcing this game seven on the road luca just carried his team in game seven versus the clippers and now he has to do the same against a team that's 10 times better and while luca's more than capable of putting his team on his back unfortunately he's run out of gas and with two seconds left on the clock the Golden State Warriors become the first team in NBA history to choke a 3-0 lead. While Luka did nothing but good to help his team win, unfortunately that disgusting record is staining his resume for now. Because these next few years would be considered Steph's prime, where Steph won three rings within these upcoming seasons. Which means if Luka can surpass Steph's greatness, that 3-0 choke shouldn't be brought up too often. However, the 13-14 season is nothing short of exceptional for Luka with him winning his third career MVP. And in the playoffs, they're getting their rematch against the Spurs, who've regressed from the best team in the West all the way down to the seventh seed. Which is why the Warriors are generally sweeping them making it back to the semifinals. Throughout these past five seasons, it seems Luka's always been stuck in the semis and never got to break through. But because Houston isn't as great as the other teams that Lucas had to face, he'd also be sending the Rockets home in five games. This is Luka's first conference finals appearance, meaning he's now just one round away from a possible championship. However, the team standing in his way is a team that has given Luka trouble time after time, that being the Oklahoma City Thunder. With the way Westbrook plays, he's the one contributing to the most success to his team which may cause KD to feel overshadowed and leave OKC in a couple years forming possibly the greatest team we've ever seen but for now Russ is giving Luka that work taking a 3-2 series lead just one game away from sending Luka home yet again man this gotta suck to see a team that's beat you time and time again hold that trophy on your home floor and to make matters even worse and regarding these finals the thunder one in five with russ winning finals mvp he nearly averaged a 35 point triple double it seems like russ has had lucas number time after time how will you respond 30 you're gonna fall down sometimes and you're not gonna know if you have the strength to get back up and i wanted to ask you today can you see a way out of this mess. Baby girl, you give me ten ton of fatness. Give me some of that. Thinks with the badness. Look how she at. She like a dead but I just that. It's a good piece of mental sanity. As we welcome you to Oakland, California on a beautiful day in the Bay Area. You've got Golden State. It's been 40 years since they won a title. Cleveland has never won an NBA title and now both are four wins away. Which means the finals will be a repeat of real life with Luka facing off against LeBron who's on pace of becoming the greatest of all time. But if Luka's capable of taking LeBron down just as Curry did, he'll be tied with Steph in rings at this point in real life. And while most NBA fans would likely consider Kyrie and Kevin Love to be a better supporting cast, Clay and Draymond fit 
Lucas needs much better. Because while Lucas' offensive ability is remarkable, his defense isn't that great just yet, but the presence of Draymond takes care of the defensive end. And when you look at Lucas' matchup, Kyrie Irving, the size disparity is quickly starting to show. With Luka taking Kyrie to the post for an easy bucket, kicking out to the corner for a clay three, and lobbing it up to Draymond for an easy two points. And although we can't ignore the greatness of LeBron James, it's becoming more and more clear that he can't handle Luka magic. Falling short to the Warriors, giving Luka his first championship. And Luka holds up the Larry O'Brien trophy with the finals MVP going to Luka which Steph couldn't get because it went to Iguodala, so he already has a head start on him with that too. But if you think Luka's road to surpassing Steph's greatness will be an easy one, you're completely mistaken. Because this upcoming season is one of the most interesting seasons for some good and bad reasons. The good reason being in real life they won 73 games, but in this reality where Luka stepped into Steph's shoes, they're winning 77. Meaning Luka's had a much better impact on this team's success than Steph did. And when you combine that record with Luka's individual greatness and his ability to make those around him better, it's no surprise that they're heading back to the NBA Finals. The crowd ready to roar here at Oracle Arena for game one of these NBA Finals. The rematch from last year, Warriors and Cavaliers best of seven to decide an NBA champion. However, despite the Cavs' greatest effort to not lose two years in a row, they're still finding themselves down 3-1 in this series. And while a 3-1 lead is an iconic staple of Steph's career, the Warriors in real life managed to let that lead slip away, granting the Cavs their first ring. But with Luka replacing Steph in this reality, NBA history may change as we know it. We saw how this story played out in real life, and right now it seems to be following the same trajectory as the Warriors are losing games 5 and 6. Going to a game 7 where Luka either becomes a back-to-back -back champion or suffers the same fate that Steph did. Iggy with the ball, screened by Luka, Iggy pull up over LeBron behind him and he drains the midi 9 point lead. Timofey Mozgov the first one's in and Timofey Mozgov the second one in as well. Play with the ball around the Bogut screen, pull up 3. He misses Mozgov on the glass to LeBron. LeBron clamped up by Andre Iguodala. Luka guarding Kyrie. Kyrie pull up over Luka. Wow. Wow. That is an iconic shot from real life. Bogut, come on. You're kind of stuck. Maybe pass the ball or something. Play at the last second. He misses Mozgov on the glass. Good defense. Luka, what a block. Verzhao recovers the rebound. Luka all the way. Luka in Kyrie's face. Look at Luka! Luka Doncic, baby! Luka gets absorbed in the Mozgov screen, tries to contest Kyrie LeBron on the rebound, puts it up and in. Luka, first free throws in. And Luka, second free throws in as well. And with the clock running out, the Golden State Warriors do not blow a 3-1 lead, winning Luka's second ring. Luka's now a two-time champion and three-time MVP with a severely bright future ahead of him. Kevin Durant has signed with the Golden State Warriors, forming a potential dynasty with Luka Doncic, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green. Which means Katie's leaving Russ behind to form the greatest team ever. And he won't be getting that much backlash for leaving though, because he managed to help bring a championship to Oklahoma City. So while in real life his decision to leave OKC was frowned upon by the fans, Let's go! Rip it! Rip it! Trash! 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 It's all! It's all trash! You're all trash! You're all trash! This is the last time I ever want to see 35 on my jersey, on my shirt, ever again. In this reality, KD celebrated as an OKC legend, with the fans wishing him nothing but the best. And of course, when you have two NBA champions playing together, it's no surprise that they're running through the entire Western Conference to make it to the finals for the first time as teammates. However, one of the many reasons KD left OKC was because Russ was getting all the credit for their success. So him joining forces with someone even better than Russ doesn't make that much sense. And unfortunately, 
see some awful signs would already start to show, mainly due to Katie's ego not allowing him to coexist with another great player, which is unfortunately costing them the first two games of this series. Losing the first two games of a final series against LeBron of all people is as dangerous as playing with fire, and as if that alone isn't bad enough, in just his first season with this new team, it seems like the fans are already sick and tired of KD. But with KD feeling the disappointment from the crowd, along with realizing his personal ego isn't worth costing himself and Luka a ring, he dig deep into his back to come back stronger than ever, winning 3 games in a row, taking a 3-2 lead over the Cavs. From the moment KD touched down in Oakland, 99% of NBA fans speculated this move to be league shattering, and potentially destructive to whoever stood in Golden State's path. And while KD started off on the wrong foot with the Warriors, he's managed to partially redeem himself by taking control of the series. But the only true way to redeem his bad start with this team is to help them win this game 6. And while I like to say this game 6 came down to the wire, this game was over before it even started. Kitty's managed to put his personal ego aside for the better of the team, helping Luka achieve the first 3P of his career. Although Luka managed to win 2 championships in a row prior to Kitty's arrival, it's undeniable that Kitty's presence on this team has impacted Luka's career for the better, which is perfectly displayed by them reaching the NBA Finals with a chance to win Luka's fourth ring. And while we will be witnessing a Warriors vs Cavs matchup for the fourth year in a row, the Cavs no longer have Kyrie. And when you combine that with KD guarding LeBron, it's no surprise that the Warriors are sweeping the Cavs with Luka winning his fourth ring. When you tell the tale of Luka Doncic and the greatness he's achieved at such a young age, you can't ignore the greatness of Kevin Durant who's been silently contributing to Luka's success. KD started off as a player who only cared about his own image, to now willingly taking the backseat for the betterment of Luka's career, which is why they're seeing success once again, making it back to the finals for the fifth year in a row, where they'll no longer face the Cleveland Cavaliers, but rather the Toronto Raptors, who are led by one of Luka's many rivals, Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> and while Kawhi's definitely a pest on defense, the fire power from Luka, KD, and Clay should be enough to get past the series. However, that's of course easier said than done, with Kawhi and the Raptors battling to tie the series at two apiece. If Luka wants any chance to win his fifth championship in a row, he's gonna need all the help he can get, specifically from Kevin Durant. But even with KD's help, facing an unbelievably relentless team with an undeniable will to win may be one of the most challenging moments of Luka's career, especially when you consider this upcoming unfortunate turn of events. And Durant grabbing that right leg. It's the right calf that put him out. Losing such an instrumental player is nothing short of sad and disappointing, considering the Warriors are losing this severely crucial Game 5 due to the absence of Kevin Durant. Which means this Game 6 is a must-win game for the Warriors since they're down 3-2 and this game will decide the fate of their future. With that said, this game is tipping off with Luka and Klay dominating the Raptors until the third quarter, when yet another tragic event occurs. Watson running the floor! Thompson grabs his left knee, now writhing in pain. KD and Clay being out of this crucial game 6 led to Steph not being able to close this game 6 out, ultimately falling short to the Raptors, who ended up earning their first ring in their franchise's history. But with Luka now in Steph's shoes, he has a chance to win this game 6 and force a game 7 in Toronto. Minute 35 left in the game, the Raptors have an 8 point lead just minutes away from becoming NBA champions. Luka inside over Kyle Lowry though, easy layup because of the height advantage. Kawhi wide open for three, he misses, Ibaka misses the putback, no way. Kawhi to Danny Green in the corner and that might be the dagger. Which means Luka's meeting the same fate as Steph, falling short to the Raptors in the finals and watching them hoist the Larry O'Brien on their home court. 
And unfortunately, this is just the beginning of this downward spiral. Because with Katie getting injured in that series, he's heading to a brand new city in hopes of a fresh start, joining forces with Luca's rival, Kyrie Irving. And while Katie's time as a warrior was undoubtedly eventful and beneficial to Luca's legacy, all good things must come to an end. However, on a broader note, the Warriors have a chance to draft a player who could eventually save the Warriors from the slump they're currently in. Jordan Poole from the University of Michigan. Maybe you'll be a splash nephew now? Yeah. I'm something like that. I'm definitely a little young, but uh, I'm splash something for sure. And while Poole may blossom into a star one day, for now, he's just an unproven rookie who isn't trusted with the keys to the team just yet. And with Lucas Splash Brother being indefinitely injured, there's urgency to immediately fill that void. Warriors finalizing a deal with the Nets to acquire D'Angelo Russell. Which means Luca's now teammates with a guy who can temporarily fill into Clay's shoes, but he won't be a warrior for long. D'Angelo Russell is going to the Minnesota Timberwolves for wow. Andrew Wiggins. Who's a player that could turn out to be an instrumental part of the Warriors' future. However, for now, they're missing the playoffs, which perfectly plays into the Warriors earning the second pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, with the chance to select a player who could bring them back into contention. With the second pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select James Weissman. <laughs> And while I truly like to hype up James Wiseman, he's unfortunately not as good as the Warriors anticipated him to be. And when you combine that with the absence of Klay Thompson, it's no surprise that the Warriors are missing the playoffs. Again. It's interesting how Luka started off his journey as a Warrior with such success. Winning multiple MVPs, making the playoffs before Steph, winning more games than their real-life counterpart, and winning four championships in a row. All the way to now hitting rock bottom, where they're basically one of the worst teams in the NBA. However, Luka does have a pretty good resume, so who knows, maybe he'll be able to win a championship again someday. And while that day may be very far away, for now Luka has the chance to knock this three-pointer down to be crowned as the greatest shooter of all time. Here's Dodgers for the record. It's good! And it seems that iconic moment in Luca's career has had an effect on everyone around him, leading to the return of Klay Thompson and the stardom of Jordan Poole, which is playing a huge part into the Warriors storming right past the West to make it to the finals against none other than the Boston Celtics. There was a lot of doubt surrounding the Warriors post-2019, with many questioning if the Warriors even have a chance to get back to their winning ways. But despite all odds, they've managed to make it back to familiar territory with Luka's sight set on his fifth ring. However, it won't be an easy series because the Celtics roster is completely loaded. And while the Celtics may seem to be the favorites, you can't count out the team that's managed to win four rings in a row, who are led by a player who's won four finals MVPs in a row. However, despite Luka's greatness, the Celtics are proving to be one of the best teams the NBA has ever seen. And while they're incredibly talented players, at the end of the day, experience beats talent, which is why Luka's leading his team to a commanding 3-2 lead, forcing a game 6 where he has a chance to take the Celtics down on the road. Pool to Luka gets stolen by Marcus Smart, driving all the way, blocked by Doncic! Yo, that's crazy! Jordan Poole finished the play! Jordan Poole and Luka Doncic connecting. Tatum trying to find his way inside the paint, kicks it out to an Al Horford three who misses, giving play the rebound. Luka guarded by a much smaller Peyton Pritchard, dishes it to Draymond who misses and he's fighting for the jump ball. Draymond to Luka, much smaller Peyton Pritchard on him. Huge mismatch. Play over Jalen Brown who misses the three, Tatum on the glass. Jalen Brown trying to cook Clay, dishes it to Peyton. I don't know how he made that over Luka. Dream on to Wiggins, Wiggins for three. That's a really huge shot. Wiggins guarding Tatum. Tatum with an answer right back. Luka posting up Peyton, fading away, and he's got it. 
Pulls up in his face and he knocks it down. 36 seconds, six point lead for the Warriors. Gotta close this out. Luka, championship on the line, knocks down the free throw. And Luka with the second one and he knocks it down as well. Okay, eight point lead. Good defense, good defense. Payton over Luka. No way, Draymond on the rebound and that does it. Luka goes ahead to win his fifth ring in front of the opposing team's crowd. That's completely disrespectful. With Luka winning his fifth ring, along with becoming the greatest shooter of all time, he solidified himself as the greatest point guard of all time, leaving him with one ultimate goal to fulfill a successful career, taking over Michael Jordan's throne as the greatest player to ever play in the NBA. However, this upcoming season is taking a turn for the worse, starting with chemistry issues between Jordan Poole and Draymond Green. But despite their issues, Lucas managed to carry his team back to the finals, giving Luka a chance to win his sixth ring. However, the team standing in Luka's way of achieving greatness is the Boston Celtics once again. But with the chemistry issues between Poole and Draymond, this could affect the team's ability to come together and win the series. With that said, this series would tip off with both teams going at it for the first six games where they tie the series at three apiece forcing a win or go home game seven where luca either comes out on top as a champion or fails to surpass michael jordan's legendary six rings Jordan to Luca. He's injured? What? Luca kind of gets himself stuck. He misses, grabs his own rebound, puts it up and in. Two point lead. Jalen gets poked away, but he picks it back up. Jalen for three, and he unfortunately knocks it down. Dream on to Clay. Clay to Wiggins. Wiggins to Luca. Luca pump fake. Got him. That's in. Jason Tatum finds Al Horford for the easy pocket pass into the dunk. Wiggins. He that was so dumb. I don't know why he did that. Derek White to Tatum inside. That was such a bad pass. It could have easily been picked off. But good defense by Luca. Dream on to Wiggins. Wiggins. That's a good angle. Good angle, good shot, two point lead with a minute 18 left on the clock. Tatum trying to put his team on his back, almost less than a minute left on the clock. Tatum to Horford, guarded very well by Draymond, exceptional defense. Wiggins cannot get around to Tatum, Horford on the glass and he puts it up and it unfortunately goes in. Play fading for three, Clay Thompson, Clay Thompson. Oh my god, Clay, you're a hero. They just need a clutch up here with one defensive stop, and this championship is theirs. Jalen Brown in Clay's face, he misses. Wiggins on the rebound. I think they're gonna foul sometime soon. Oh, he turned it over. Luca, pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, Clay. Play with the ball. Play with the ball. Kavon, good screen. Clay to Luca. With the lob to Kavon Looney. Rob Williams to Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown to Tatum. Tatum for three. He misses Draymond on the glass, and that should do it if he sinks both of these. Clay first free throws, good. And Clay second free throws, good as well. Seven point lead, 22 seconds. Derek White with the ball. Derek White pulls up over Luka. What a shot. And an injured Luka Doncic is headed to the line. Luka first free throws in. And Luka second free throws in as well. So six point lead with 15 seconds left on the clock. Derek White with the ball trying to make some magic happen again. Derek White! Luka first free throws in. And Luka second free throws in as well. Five point lead, seven seconds. Derek White, can he make some magic happen again? Gives it to Horford. Horford guarded by Draymond. Takes a turnaround three and misses. With that win, Lucas managed to tie Michael Jordan in championships just one year away from potentially passing him. But of course, the Warriors are facing yet another challenging moment as they're saying goodbye to Jordan Poole, a player who brought life to every game, especially when the baddies were sitting courtside. And while trading Jordan is devastating in its own right, the Warriors are getting a player that's pretty legendary in return. Washington Wizards have agreed to send 
Chris Paul to the Golden State Warriors. Which means Lucas joining forces with an all-time great and yet another rival. Many have questioned how Luka and CP3 will fit together despite their past battles. But when you have two future Hall of Fame guards who want to win a ring for their own reasons, it's no surprise that the Warriors are storming past the first two rounds of the playoffs. And while Luka would typically storm past the West with ease, the team standing in his way of making the finals is the Dallas Mavericks, who have a severely bright future all because of one incredible decision they made back in 2018. Fifth pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Dallas Mavericks select Steph Curry. In order for Luka to win his 7th ring, he has to take down the man whose career he's been trying to surpass this whole time. That being none other than Stephen Curry. And of course the two highlight machines going back and forth for an entire series, they're forcing a game 7. Where Luka either wins to advance to the finals for a chance to win his 7th ring, or Steph Curry gets in his path of achieving greatness. Luka attacking Kyrie, that's a but. Okay, I don't know what's gonna happen here. I'll be honest. Steph, kind of trying to cook CP3. That's not working. Luca guarding Kyrie. Come on. I'm in at 30 left. CP3 with the ball, trying to cook Steph. And by cook, I mean stand there and just dribble the ball. Luca on Kyrie, barbecue chicken. Thank you, Luca. CP3 guarding Steph. One good defensive possession could help you win a ring, CP3. Trace, oh Trace, Trace, block that, Trace, block that, block that, oh he let him get the good positioning, oh that's so rough, 4 point deficit, 1 minute on the clock, your legacy on the line, terrible layup animation but it gets it to go, uh, 2 point deficit, I need a steal, someone steal the ball, someone steal the ball, CP3, good D, good D, Good D, that's good D. Okay, that's just better offense, I guess. CP3 to Luka, he could have shot that, but I guess pass it. Luka, good layup, two point deficit again. Luka, I need a stop. No way he misses any of these. Oh my, no, surely not. No way he misses two in a row, right? I've never seen Kyrie miss any free throw, really. Yeah, he made the second one. I mean, at least it's a three-point game, not a four-point game. Come on, Luca, You got blessed with Kyrie missing a free throw, which he rarely ever does. Draymond to Luca, Guarded by Steph. Uh, I don't know why you took it too, but you made it. You need a foul right now. Like, immediately. That was almost a steal, and Steph set it to the line. Steph, first free throw. Zint. Okay, this is just incredibly lucky. What are the odds? And Steph, second. Yeah, he. I thought he was going to miss both. I don't know what Luka's going to do, though. Will he take the two or will he take the three? Luka to Clay. Clay for three. Clay Thompson. Let's go. And with that three by Clay, the Mavs are calling a timeout for a potential shot to win this game. How will you respond, 77? All right, 2.2 seconds. Anything can happen. I hope nothing happens, though. Maxi with the ball. Probably finds Kyrie. Kyrie, no way. Oh, let's go. Oh, I thought that was it. And Lucas holding up the Western Conference Finals champion trophy in front of the home crowd. And while Luka will be moving on for a chance to win his seventh ring, it's important to look back to where he started. Luka started off his journey as an unproven rookie looking to leave his mark in the league to become one of the greatest, if not the greatest of all time. He's made the playoffs before Steph, managed to save his team from choking a 3-1 lead, going on to form a super team with Kevin Durant, becoming the greatest shooter that us NBA fans have ever seen, all the way to hitting rock bottom where several people counted him out, until silencing the doubters by beating one of the NBA's best while facing issues within his own locker room. It's no secret that Luka's already one of the greatest to ever play the game of basketball, but he still has the chance to prove that he's standing alone at the top of the basketball world. But in order to do that, he'll have to take down the new 
New York Knicks. Led by Jalen Brunson, who's inching closer and closer to superstar status. And while Jalen will inevitably reach Luka's level eventually, for now, this is still Luka's league. Which is why he's winning not one, not two, not three, but four games. To win his seventh ring and be crowned as the greatest of all time.